Perfect enterprise, Mr. Scott. Welcome gamers. Today, let's take a look at the August releases for Game Pass. Uh, the average user rating for these games are astronomical. I don't think there's really been anything below 77% or 7.7 uh, .7 out of 10. So it is great. Let's take a look at it and do it now. <laughs> Up first, Darksiders Genesis is a top-down hack-and-slash action role-play video game developed by American Studio Airship Syndicate and published by THQ Nordic. The game was released for Stadia and Microsoft Windows on December 5th, 2019 and was released on the Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on February 14th, 2020. It is considered a spin-off prequel game in the Dark Siders series and introduces the fourth horseman of the apocalypse, Strife as the protagonist. Strife can also team up with his brother, War, just coincidentally. Upon release, the game received positive reviews with many reviewers praising the game's combat system. IGN gave the game a decent and solid 8.7 out of 10 and made a critic with a 70% user score. Darksiders Genesis drops on your Game Pass sub August 6th. It Lurks Below is a retro-styled 2D action-orientated survival RPG by David Brevik. Create it, a custom character and choose from several different classes to delve deep into the mysteries of what evil lurks below. Dig down and explore randomly generated levels, find random items and combat deadly monsters to get the answers you're looking for. According to GOG.com, uh, through this game looks similar to other games in the genre, it plays very differently. It is a true RPG with many stats and character classes. It is very reminiscent of the other games made by David Brevik such as Diablo and Diablo 2, London and Marvel Heroes. With each character class to choose from, randomly generate levels, random stats on items, secret areas, boss fights, a survival talent tree, and three different play modes. It is delivering a very different and unique gaming experience. With a 9 out of 10 from Steam, I reckon go old school and survive come August 6th. Man of Medan, The Dark Pictures Anthology is an interactive drama survival horror video game developed by Supermassive Games and published by Na Bandai Namco Entertainment. It is the first of eight planned installments in the Dark Pictures Anthology series and was released for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on 30th of August 2019. A successor, Little Hope, is based on to be released in 2020. The main plot of Man of Medan is presented as an unfinished story in the possession of the omnipresent curator who requests the player's assistance in completing it. Decisions made by the player alter the outcome of the story and fates of its there. characters. PC Gamer and Google users scoring the game a solid 81%. You can finish the story come August 6th. Xeno Crisis, a port of the successfully crowdfunded Sega Mega Drive, Genesis title Xeno Crisis is an arena shooter that can be played solo or in local co-op mode. Take control of the battle-hardened marines embarking on a deadly mission to confront an alien menace and get home alive. Run and gun your way through thousands of adversaries as you explore the devastated research outpost, searching for survivors, and ultimately facing the origins of the outpost demise. With an 8 out of 10 from both Nintendo Life and Steam, relive the golden years this August 6th. Robert, try makers, hey? Is a part creative vehicle building sandbox and part uh, exploration racing game. Build a car and a plane, a boat, or maybe even, you know, a car plane boat. <laughs> right on. With Trial Maker's intuitive building, it is easy as snapping together like real building blocks, bro. Take your machines on an exciting rally races and dangerous exploration missions, or, you know, just build the crazy contraptions you can imagine in this huge sandbox, bro. All game modes are available as single player and multiplayer with massive 9 out of 10 on Steam and 97% of Google users upvoting the game. Go ahead, bro. Start creating and, uh, and, and, and be curious this August 6th. 
And up next, Final Fantasy VII HD. This is a 1997 role-playing video game developed by Square for the PlayStation console. It is the seventh installment of the Final Fantasy series, published by Japan by Square Enix. It was released in other regions by Sony Computer Entertainment and became the first in the main series to see a PAL release. The game's story follows Cloud Strife, a mercenary who joins in an eco-terrorist organization to stop a world-controlling megacorporation from using the planet's life essence as an energy source. Events send Cloud and his allies in the pursuit of Sephiroth, a superhuman who seeks to wound the planet. During the journey, Cloud builds close friendships with his party members, including Arieth Gainsborough, who holds the secret to saving the world. PC Magazine and IGN both score in the game with a almost perfect 8 out of 10. Uh, if you haven't yet, go get your RPG uh, on a game that's not really a JRPG, apparently. Either way, grab it August 13 from Game Pass. Delve deep into the Undermine and discover its secrets. One peasant at a time. Undermine is an action-adventure roguelike that blends combat and dungeon crawling with RPG-like progression. Mine, gold, die, upgrade yourself and try again. Discover hundreds of items including relics, potions, blessings and curses that all combo and stack with new experiences. Challenge dangerous bosses and rescue helpful characters that provide new upgrades for your adventure decipher the cryptic messages of the undermined residents and unfold the mystery at the heart of the dungeon. Scoring a 9 out of 10 on Steam, we reckon you should prepare to die come August 6th. That looks like an amazing lineup and you can be sure your August is going to be jam-packed full of real quality games. Excellent time to be alive, am I right? This is Captain Kirk for Xbox Players SA, and these are the games coming to you in August. All right, let's go. Boom, ba, 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 ba. Make sure that you get a subscription and uh, your gaming 